Hello. Um, in this video, uh, we're going to be doing a false two-star alignment. Um, in other words, uh, we're going to do a two-star alignment with your telescope during the day. Now, I don't actually have the Nexus hooked up to a telescope. I just have it hooked up to two encoders. But for this demonstration, it's really all we need. So uh, before doing this, this is assumed that your scope is set up, collimated. Uh, it could be uh, during the day, like we said. And uh, we're going to have the scope turned, pointing north, as close as you can achieve. And we're going to have the tube at zenith on the stop. At that point, we're going to have everything powered up, servo cat uh, and the Nexus powered on. And uh, this is where we'll be. When you power on the Nexus, it'll go through its startup menu, and then it'll end up right here on a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to press OK. It's going to ask for your out reference point. Your scopes are really going to be pointing north and at the zenith on the stop, which should be roughly 90 degrees. We're going to hit OK. You can see it shows the altitude angle. Now the telescope coordinates are 0, north, 90, zenith. Okay, OK one more time. And it will go immediately to your first star, uh, your first alignment star. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to use Polaris. Polaris, if you're beginning, is probably the best one as long as you can sight it. Um, it's not moving, so it makes it easier. If uh, You can do it with any star, but um, the other stars are going to be moving. They're going to be drifting through your field, so for you know, try and get one as close to the pole as possible, I guess. Um, anyway. So for this, we're going to scroll, use the up and down arrows. We're going to scroll to uh, Polaris. Okay, once we have it on Polaris, then what we're going to do is uh, hit... We're going to hit over to Info. Okay, and now if you look here... All right, you can see the out as coordinates, as is 359.66, out 29.28. That is where the Nexus believes Polaris to be. Right over here, you see this 0 and 90. That is where the encoders are saying, are, are telling Nexus where, where the scope is. So what you will do is you will use your out as movements of your scope. You will, you can either manually move the scope or you can engage it and use the servo cat to move the scope. But essentially all we have to do, okay, this is your azimuth. So I have to bring azimuth to 359. So right now I would be rotating the scope. Uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever it takes to get that 359.66. Okay. Oh, it's very sensitive, these 40,000 tick. But you get the idea. I'm just going to move that to 359.66. It is easier to do this with the servo cat engaged. You want to put the servo cat on the jog setting. Uh, that's the one to the right of SLU. And this way the scope isn't moving so fast so the numbers won't be, you know, flying by. Anyway, so then I'm going to take my um, altitude. So right now I'd be dropping my tube until I get it down to that 29.28. All right, I'm not going to zero it out, but you, again, you'll be able to do it easily with the scope. Once you have them two in... Basically, you have the scope where the Nexus thinks that Polaris is. You'll hit OK, and it entered the first star. It immediately goes to Align 2, your second star, and you just repeat the procedure again. You'll uh, find the, the star you want to use. Over here, you'll see it's out as coordinates, as the Nexus believes it to be. Over here will be your scope's location, which in this case is where we left it at Polaris. And now you'll just simply move the scope in azimuth and altitude to match those two numbers, hitting enter again. And once you do that, you'll have a good enough alignment 
that if you want to take the scope out, you know, to, to see planets before maybe total nightfall or before you can see your guide stars, um, you know, things like that. If you want to do a dry run of the scope in your garage before you take it out, let's say if you just got it new, it's always a good idea to learn the procedure in a, a safe environment. So anyway, hope that helps and uh, see you next time.